Nate, Nostalgia Critic here. And as a clear expert on critiquing, I feel like I gotta critique your YouTube channel, Devil Dog Gaming. Let me tell you, the devil's in the details, man, and your details suck. That's right, they're terrible, they're god-awful. I mean, good lord, there's so much I can go into about why your YouTube channel is absolute garbage. I mean, let me tell you, as someone who has clearly seen this channel, I mean, just looked it over in great detail, I have so much to say about it. But you're not gonna hear it because that's how terrible it is. You don't even deserve a critique from the Nostalgia Critic. That's right. That's my way out of this, man. That's how I do it. That's how I chicken the hell out of this, man. That's how much you suck. Mm. Ah, it's been a long time, but here we return to the world of Saints Row. Yes, it's not the original Saints Row we're used to. It's a remake, and I'll get into it about the characters at a later date. But this is the world of Saints Row, and we all know when you're here, you're the leader, you're the boss. You gotta dress for the part to be ready to take down all those thugs and enemies. This ain't gonna do it. Let's try on some new outfits. Boop. Yeah, <laughs> let's go get some people. No, not this one. Oh, Ooh, I'm starving. I'm so violent. Ooh, check out my abs. No, this won't work. No, this is just confusing. Not this. <laughs> no one will suspect you're the Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> oh, y'all. No, this isn't good enough. No, no. Well, howdy there, pilgrim. I guess I reckon I'll be body slamming people. Oh, uh, no, this isn't good enough. I've got to do better than this. Oh, I look like a hamburger. I've had too many hamburgers. Oh, with a cape and a yarmulke hat. Nah, this this ain't gonna do. I can do better than this. Oh. Hey, at least I got a weapon this time. Oh. You know, this ain't bad. This isn't bad, but you know what? I think I can do one step better than this. This doesn't seem like a good costume to start the game with. One more try. Yeah! Now this is classy. That's right. An AK-47. A dog head with 3D glasses and... Ooh, what's that? A cowboy hat. Now I'm styling and profiling. Let's go kill these people and become... The leader, the ruler of the gang at Saints Row. <laughs> yeah. Hello everybody, it's me Nate aka Devil Dog and I'm back with another game review. This time I'm reviewing Saints Row 2022. Before I get started, I'm going to say this and I'm really honestly I mean it. I will be having a rant video for this game uh, out very soon, uh, you know, after this uh, non-biased review goes out because I made it very apparent with most people that know me uh, there are several aspects of this particular game that I absolutely despise, but it's not fair to do a review um, for a game and not be, you know, biased. So this is a non-biased review, people. If you want to know my personal feelings for a lot of the, you know, issues I have with this game, just stay tuned for my epic rant on Saints Row that'll be coming out soon. But here it is. Let's get straight to it. Saints Row 2022. It was developed by Volition and published by Deep Silver and just released on August 23rd of 2022 on the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, Windows, and Stadia. Yes, they actually say that this has been released for Stadia. I mean, seriously, what's Stadia? Now, keep in mind, this is kind of, sort of, technically the ninth game in the Saint, Saints Row series, but they, they consider it a spiritual reboot, so that's why they just 
call it Saints Row, and it is your typical action-adventure reboot of the original Saints Row series, and it takes place in a new area known as Santo Elicio, a fictional Nevada uh, hybrid with Las Vegas, where you go and you take over the areas, and you know, in typical Saints Row fashion, in a fashion you take down three different criminal gangs. Uh, they are the Los Panteros, which I, can, I just call them the muscle gang, really. Then you have the Idols, which are an, you know, an anarchist nightclub uh, kind of group, really. I absolutely hate the Idols. And the MDI, the Martial Defense Industry, which is a private military contracting group. Now, when you first start out, you play as the boss, a former MDI member who decides that it's time to go and take over and form his own group because he wants to be the ruler of the land. So, your gang consists of Nina, a former Los Panteros mechanic, Kevin, a former Idols DJ, and Eli, a business entrepreneur. Now, the game's uh, overall size is quite large. It's well done. There are nine distinct districts. Everything from classy, gated communities, desert vistas, downtowns, casinos, and more. Um, hands down, I really have to say, the game world itself really shines in this title. It is personally one of my favorite game worlds in, in a Saints Row game. Um, now, the other thing I have to say, hands down, this game has some of the best... Uh, you know, you know, character creations, um, you know, and the vehicle mods, and even your weapons you can modify. Um, honestly, the character creator is one of the best I've seen. Um, you know, the, the different mods you can do to your vehicles actually not only affect just the visual um, aspects, but actually handling and everything else as well. And uh, even some of the, the gun modifications are really, really cool. Like one, it's like it's a rocket launcher, but you can make it look like that uh, uh, you know, guitar suitcase um, rocket launcher from I think the movie was Desperado. So they have all this uh, nice flair and just really neat stuff that you could do with the character creation, your uh, weapon, and your vehicle modifications. It's actually, like, really hands down, just, like, one of the best parts of the game, along with the game world. Now, the one thing I have to point out which really bothers me, much like most new games nowadays, this one does not skimp on different versions or additions you can buy at launch or pre-order. You could get your gold version, your platinum version, your criminal customs version, and even a legacy, a legacy version. And, uh, of course, don't forget the notorious edition. That's right. Yeah, pay a couple hundred bucks to get a bunch of weird swag with it, some, you know, you know, artwork, stuff like that. You know the usual thing when you buy a collector's edition of a game. They they just dump all kinds of weird stuff. Most of it's pointless. Um, I, I don't think it's weird as the Saints Row 3 one, or was it 4, where they had one that you could buy for a million dollars, where it's basically you got, like, a bunch of real stuff, including a real uh, sports car. Um, now, of course, with the, this being a Saints Row game, they do plan to uh, have a bunch of future expansions for it. They currently say there's three future expansions in the work for it. And, of course, it comes with tons of DLC. Now, what about the actual gameplay itself? Well, I am happy to say that, hands down... I personally think that this has actually got some of the best gameplay in a Saints Row series in a long time. Uh, the addition of the wingsuit that is very, very similar to a, a, a what's Just Cause 4, I believe. You get a wingsuit that helps you traverse the world, and you can even use it to like uh, fly down and bounce off of people's heads to gain more uh, momentum to fly back up and glide. The wingsuit is a novel addition. It's, uh, it, like I said, it doesn't really come off as that original. But it is still a good addition to the Saints Row franchise, and it absolutely does work pretty well. And along with that, you know, with your running and gunning, your ability to do stuff like jump out of a moving car and get on the roof and shoot in uh, all directions while the car is driving itself, it, it, it is wacky and weird. Um, even though, like I said, stay tuned for my rant. I'll get into details on a lot of things that they changed or, or took out or modified, which I can't really particularly 
you know, you know, say that I agree with. But nonetheless, the game itself is actually very well built and a very fun game. Now, overall size, it's it consists of 25 main story missions and I roughly give or take about 10 side missions. Now, uh, when you first start out your game, once you get your headquarters, which is like a church. Um, you have this thing that unlocks known as the War Table, which is actually pretty friggin' cool. I absolutely uh, like the aspect of the War Table because it brings up this big old board and you've got the map of the whole land and you get to pick different areas that you can actually build businesses on. There's like 14 different vacant lots and you can end up starting to build businesses that they dub Criminal Ventures. And you can upgrade these Criminal Ventures four times, like four different tiers. And now this is how you actually unlock certain things uh, like, you know, uh, you know, district takeovers. You also get the uh, unlock activities this way, like insurance fraud is returned. Of course, we all knew about that. You get chop shop activities, vehicle customization options, and of course, XP more you know, cash and, and stuff like that. Um, now, there's also other things I've noticed when you're going around the world, almost like these little mini random missions that will appear. Everything from, like, stealing vehicles, uh, like blowing up a cash truck and, and, and driving people places. And, and that's not even on top of the fact that as you go through, you can also do these additional moves, uh, you know, missions known as side hustles, where it, it, it consists of all kinds of nice little things like robbing in a bank or you know being a shooter in a getaway where you get to shoot on the roof of a car and other stuff as well i mean honestly it, it's hands down i do like the mission structure and your ability of how you can actually access them because once again um your phone comes back and it is pretty much treated like your menu screen your phone has all your information that you need on it uh you can track your missions your collectibles because of course there's collectibles too in this um and there's 12 different apps on your phone so you could use your phone basically as a portable computer and it will help you be able to track and, and do just about everything in the game now for overall size of the game world it is quite impressively large beautiful graphics um, honestly I'm playing it on a PlayStation 5 of course so I don't know if there's any sort of issues on the PS4 version but on the PS5 uh, it, it it's locked in and, and runs pretty dang smooth and the overall game length uh, I think it'll t take you anywhere from 15 to 20 hours to beat this title naturally you can speed through it faster if you want to or if you're somebody that wants to get 100% completion it'll take you way longer than the 20 hours this is just a, a ballpark figure of the overall game length um, honestly in the end I would have to say there are a lot of aspects of this game I absolutely love. Mainly the gunplay, the, the vehicle customization, your character customization, and the game world, hands down, I think is the best part of it. Um, but stay tuned in the future and watch my rant video where I talk about the things I don't like about this game. But in the end, can I actually recommend you go out and get it? If you're a huge fan of the original Saints Row, I would actually say this, watch my rant video first, then make your decision if you want to buy this title or not. Um, it plays great, it looks great, the gun plays great, uh, the co-op, I um, haven't really tested it too well yet, because like I said, the game just finally launched, I'll probably have an update with that in my rant video as well, um, but in the end, um, I still kind of like a lot of aspects of the original games better than this. But as a new um, take, a remake of the classic Saints Row series, I can still say that this is actually a really well-built, well-playing game with a fantastic game world and a lot of good mechanics, a lot of things brought back that are fantastic as well. This was Nate, a.k.a. Devil Dog, and I want to thank each and every single one of you for watching this video. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Please leave a comment below of what you personally think of this new Saints Row. If you like it, if you hate it, 
leave it in the comments below a why and I will get back to each and every single one of you of course don't forget I will have the screen adaptation on here if I can get it to work um, to make sure to enter my PlayStation 5 Xbox Series X giveaway uh, it's getting closer to actually getting a winner chosen so you all need to like watch that video get it to the thousand views and then I'll pick a winner and remember I always end my videos by saying have fun play hard and remember people the devil is in the details peace out until next time